everyone. I am Sanjana, Onco Nutritionist from Zenonco.io. Today we shall be speaking about nutritional intervention for esophageal cancer patients. Let us first understand what is esophagus and what is its primary role. Esophagus is a hollow muscular tube which is going to help in the movement of the food and the liquids from the throat to the stomach. So then what is meant by esophageal cancer? Esophageal cancer generally starts from within the esophagus and will spread outwards through the other layers as it is going to progress. So now what could be the risk factors for developing an esophageal cancer? First of all is alcohol intake and next is gastroesophageal reflux disease. Now in one of my videos we had spoken about gastroesophageal reflux disease. So as this disease progresses gradually, okay, the last stage is known as the Barrett's esophagus wherein there can be signs of, you know, localized growth as well of the cells. So during this time, it is very important for the doctor to understand and analyze what kind of a cellular growth is that. And this, if not treated, can ultimately lead to esophageal cancer. So now what are the signs and symptoms to look out for in esophageal cancer? This can lead to indigestion. There can be pain while swallowing. You can experience difficulty swallowing which is also called as dysphagia or there could also be a heart burn as well. Now, what are the tests which are performed by the doctor to, underst to, and, uh, to understand if the patient is having esophageal cancer or not? So, first of all, there will be a physical examination which is done and a detailed history of the patient's health will be taken. Then, a chest x-ray will be done, a esophagioscopy will be done. And if required, the doctor might also ask to do a biopsy if they want to know the stage of the cancer as well. Okay, so now the patients who are going to be having an esophageal cancer are at a high risk of malnutrition. Okay, so nutritional assessment and early dietary intervention are the two main important uh, factors which have to be considered for these patients. Now, the patients who have esophageal cancer, they undergo various treatments. It could be either a surgery, a radiation or a chemotherapy as well. Now, because of radiation when they undergo, they can experience certain uh, side effects or symptoms like you know esophagitis which is inflammation of the esophagus or there could be myelosuppression as well and anemia also right so now when i say myelosuppression means because of the radiation treatment sometimes there can be a bone marrow suppression also which can lead to a reduced production of red blood cells but again, all of this is going to be, uh, you know, individual to individual, how the symptoms are going to be varying. Okay. And because of the uh, chemotherapy, there can be various side effects or symptoms like pain while swallowing or difficulty in swallowing. There can also be neutropenia as well. There can be mucositis also or lose motions or even loss of appetite. So it becomes very important to, you know, understand what are the challenges which are faced by these patients and to help them manage these side effects or the symptoms. Okay, now let us try and understand what are the objectives of nutrition, medical nutritional therapy. First of all is that we need to prepare the patient for various treatments like a surgery or a radiation or even chemotherapy as well. 
Now, before they are taken into such a treatment, it is important to take a detailed nutritional assessment and also understand if the patient is at a risk of malnutrition or not. How is their nutritional status prior to the treatment? Now, what happens is in advanced cancer, uh, you know, of esophagus, the patient is not able to eat at all. Okay, they're having a lot of pain while swallowing. They have difficulty in swallowing as well. During this time, yes, the texture, the consistency of the food needs to be changed. But if there is a total reduction in the food intake, a doctor might also ask the patient to, uh, you know, have tube feeding as well. Mainly a gastrostomy tube, which is also going to help in managing the patient's nutritional requirements as well. Okay, so this is basically at a prophylactic phase, or generally the doctor might suggest or advise to do. Next important goal is to prevent malnutrition, prevent weight loss, okay, prevent dysphagia or oral mucositis as well. All right. So these are some of the common side effects or symptoms which are generally seen in uh, cancer patients who either undergo a chemotherapy or a radiation as well. Most importantly, next is it's also important that the patient has adequate intake of fluids during the treatment or else they can sometimes experience a dry mouth as well. Next is we need to also ensure they have a good dental oral care. It is important to meet the dentist as well who is going to be playing an important role in guiding and counseling the patient as to what are the good hygiene practices for oral dental care which they need to do. Okay, next important thing is that if a patient is taking enteral nutrition or tube feeding, we need to ensure that, you know, they are weaned off and they are brought back to an oral nutrition. So, even ESPEN guidelines say that, you know, we need to ensure that even if the patient is on enteral feeding or any other tube feeding, we bring back the patient on an oral feeds or oral diet because this is going to help in having a positive or good clinical outcomes as well. Okay. So, uh, yes. Okay. And now there are various studies which have been done to uh, see if even omega, uh, you know, immunonutrients have been played an important role, especially if you see glutamine or omega-3 as well. So, yes, immunonutrients are also playing an important role which are going to act as anti-inflammatory uh, compounds as well, which are going to be beneficial for these patients. So to conclude, yes, nutrition plays a very important role for patients who have esophageal cancer because most importantly, it's important to manage the side effects or symptoms. Yes. Okay. So uh, thank you for watching my video and um, we at Zenonco.io are here to navigate you throughout your cancer care journey. In case of assistance, you can surely reach out to our cancer care coaches on the below mentioned contact number. Thank you.